You guys are not going to believe what has happened to me. Seriously, I came off the game last night after playing that one against Sunderland where we drew 2-2. And as I've come on today, it the game file for Manchester United, my YouTube series, was gone. I couldn't get onto it. I'm not sure if any of you have come across this small bug in the game. It's so frustrating. I had to go and look for solutions on, on uh, Google. And some said that, you know, go onto your uh, documents under Sports Interactive and try and restore it. Thankfully, when I did, it took me back to uh, the Sunderland game. So I've had to replay that. We beat them 1-0. Um, so we, we find ourselves still six points above Chelsea. So in a way, it's kind of worked out in my favour. But I didn't want that happening. Very frustrating indeed. And I don't want to speak too loudly. But I hope it doesn't happen again. And I certainly hope it doesn't happen to any of you guys. Because it's not a nice feeling. You... You get like these hot sweats and you're like, no, oh, I was on a good run with my team and I've just lost all that progress. It's so annoying. If, if none of you believe me, go and look it up on Google. It's all there. There's been so many people complaining about this small bug or whatever it is. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's, it's so annoying. But anyway, let's put that behind us now we have to move on to our next game against Aston Villa as you've just seen as well that I just showed you uh, West Ham had sacked Sam Allardyce he is gone after poor performances with the team poor results especially that one against this United side of mine we beat them 7-0 at Old Trafford shouldn't be losing 7-0 especially a team like West Ham but anyway they were playing a very informed Manchester United side so what can you say but I think I'm going to stick with this. I do want to try and include Yanazai a lot more. I know I've started slipping away from Yanazai recently because I've got Mata and Welbeck seems to be fitting in just nicely. But uh, we'll just put Yanazai on the bench for now. So we've got Van Persie, Welbeck, Rooney, Mata, cleverly in central midfield, Carrick, defensive midfielder. Butner again. I know he didn't have the best of games against Sunderland, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my faith in him and start for this game against Aston Villa. They're going with Hellenius up front. They've got Tonev and Wayman, two pacey wingers, and Silla in central midfield. And Benteke starting on the bench, which I'm kind of surprised at. I'm, I would have thought Lambert would have put Benteke out for this important game against a Manchester United, a big team in the Premier League. So mark up Old Brighton and Benteke and Luna. Alright, sweet. We'll change all that. And let's get going with the game. Well, hold on. We're just going to do team talk. Jumping ahead here. Let's give the fans a show. Be assertive. Yep. Nice. Very nice indeed. And we'll go attacking. Be in their face straight off the bat. Here we go. So we find ourselves six points above Chelsea. It's not that big of a difference. Only two points, really. I mean, they closed the gap slightly uh, to four points after they won and we drew against Sunderland. But we'll just have to try and forget about that. Now, Mata on the inside. We've got a corner out of that shot from Mata. Anything going to come of that? Welbeck, no. Back down to Van Persie. I would have I passed it to Van Persie then. Oh, no free kick given. Oh, just look at this. Passing. No penalty. Oh, come on, ref. Should have at least been a penalty there. Or at least a free kick. Good defending there. Chris Smolin. Well done, buddy. Vidic and Smolin seem to be working together. And when I do play Smolin and Jones, brilliant. So when Vidic leaves, I, I'm not sure whether I want to bring in a new centre-half. I probably will. Uh, just for the squad depth. Ah, oh, Danny Welbeck. Just for squad depth and whatnot. But I think they're going to be my main defenders. I want to try and, as I said at a previous video ago, I want to try and build a team around Phil Jones. Come on. Why haven't we scored yet? Why have we not scored? We. I have set it to attack in. Oh, they're going to get one, aren't they? Good save, De Gea. They have got a corner. Should make changes. I'll clear the danger, lads. Don't want to go one down against Aston Villa. Not at home. 
And again, look at the time. We're only uh, just over 10 minutes gone. We're coming up to 20. There's so much going on. So action packed. Love Football Manager. Come on, give me a highlight. We've got a goal kick. Can we knock that back? Yes, we can. Danny Welbeck. What matter? What a matter for Manchester United. Oh, wow. He is just flying at the moment in the season for Manchester United. That was the uh, the slight spin of this series, actually having matter from the start of the season. That was good. Good little header from Mata. Knocking that into the top corner. Guzon couldn't just tip it wide. Did get a touch to it. Look at the passing. The fluidity. Beautiful. Van Persie there. Oh shit, he's actually picked up a knock, hasn't he? I think I'll leave him on now till half time. Michael Carrick. 2-0. That kind of looked like a, like a scissors kick. Like a half volley. Obviously, we're not going to get that animation on Football Manager, but we could pretend. Straight down the middle. Beautiful. 2 0 up before half time. I'll take that. I will definitely take Van Persie off here at half time. Alright, let's just do the team talk first. Because I don't want to risk Van Persie picking up an injury for two months. A, a month or two months can't happen, or even more than that. I don't want it happening. So bring on Hernandez for him. Just drop him down there. And he's set to poach as well, so we don't really need to change anything. Cool. Coolio. Do, do people even say that anymore? Coolio? P uh, unless they're talking about the uh, the rapper. I'm not sure. Wow, look at that. Absolute scramble in the box. Got my finger on the pause button just in case I need to make a change. Benteke has come on for Aston Villa. Lambert's recognised that he needs a goal scorer. Someone to pump the ball forwards to. Oh, it's 3 0. Oh, wow. Wayne Rooney. I think that's probably goal of the season for Rooney. Look, at, look how far outside the box he was, and then he comes in on the volley. Wow. That deserved a whistle. That was, that was a brilliant finish. Wayne Rooney. That's what I like to see. A powerful player like Rooney. Are they going to... Oh, they've got... Oh, what the flip was that? Why was Loughton allowed to just dribble the ball into the box? See what happened there. Butner again. He just, like, pulls away from him. And then what's... Uh, is that Vidic? What's he doing? Or was it Smalling? So, so unfortunate. I wanted De Gea to keep a clean sheet in this one. Oh God, matter! What was that? We seem to be slipping off with our performance here. Well, Beck to get a fourth. No, still there in the area. Oh, they're up. they're they're going to get a second here if we're not careful. Right, let's make a sub before it's too late. Cleverly's on it on a yellow. Let's bring in Fellaini. Uh, we'll leave it Fellaini and I can probably make a sub a bit later on and that'll be my last sub to use let's keep going Matt has picked up a knock he'll be okay switch that down to control I don't don't want to uh, concede another goal so we'll ju oh day I could save Villa changed back to their usual style well I'll change back to attacking Sometimes that kind of helps out. Maybe grab one more goal. If they've changed back. Oh, nice. We got a penalty. Bertrand, the guy with the foul. And, yeah, it's going to be Rooney to take it because, obviously, Van Persie went off. Oh, there we have it. 4-1 to United. He looked cool, calm, collected. And he went for the bottom left-hand corner. Keeper went the right way. Just wasn't close enough. Fellaini's looking complacent. That's probably because we're winning 4-1. And Hernandez is looking complacent. I might have a, a little word with Hernandez. You know, where you can talk to the player and just say, oh, I have faith in you to, you know, get scoring again. Because he, he's normally a super sub. I might even have to start starting him in games. Especially if Van Persie is going to be out for a couple of weeks or so. 
There we have it anyway against Aston Villa 4-1. I'm very pleased. Not much specific noted. Wow. Uh, could I be passionate about that? Nothing specific noted. Well, we got the win anyway. That's the main thing. And Arsenal in a big game against Liverpool. Just managed to overcome them. Chelsea won 3-0. Even though Ivanovic got sent off. And we are still six points top. And there is Van Persie as well with 14 goals in total. Ricky Lambert closing in on that. Uh, Rooney leaves Man United fans purring after fine display on the score sheet twice for United. Um, I was happy. I'm delighted to have got the better of Paul Lambert. Matter was simply faultless with uh, chances created for United. Four goals. Like put in the top notch he did. Van Persie was unfortunate. I'm not a fan of it because Villa... We're playing to injure uh, Man United playing players. Uh, what would you do to change the situation? I'll probably stay neutral for this one. Don't think there's much anybody can do. Actually, yeah, we'll stick with that. Uh, Van Persie, Rooney, really lucky tie. Van Persie is going to be out for two weeks. Bring them on. Bring Dortmund on. They are missing Mats Hummels at the back. They've got couple of players out injured actually I know Van Persie's out injured for us Kagar does return to the team he's back to full fitness which is uh, a positive but because we've already qualified in the uh, the Champions League group stage we don't I mean I'd like I, w I want to win it against Dortmund but we don't have to we don't even have to we could we could lose this game and put out a weak side just to rest players for our next important game in the Premier League but as I said, I do I do want to win this. So, and I don't want to change the team around too much. I want to have the likes of Ever in there and Valencia and Small and Vidic. Let's put Johnny Evans on the bench. I I kind of feel bad because I haven't been using Johnny Evans that much, but I'm happy with that team. Yeah, let's let's go for that. Submit. All right. So Dortmund, they're going for Lewandowski up front. The guy that will be making his move to Bayern Munich in the summer. They get Royce. Blaszkowski. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm terrible with that name. Gundogan. They've got Bender. Uh, obviously, Mats Hummels is out injured. So, Subotic is having to come in. And they've got a Bomiang that we have to watch out for. I'm going with Hernandez, Welbeck, Giggs, Kagawa, Cleverly, Carvalho again. And, of course, Valencia, Smolin, Vidic and Evra. Got Rooney on the bench and Mata as well, just for backup. If I did do have that that strive to to really thrash Dortmund away from home here. Last time out against Dortmund, we drew nil nil. I think it was. There wasn't even a goal scored. So hopefully, we have learned from our ways, our mistakes, and we're 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 on a decent run at the moment as Man United. So we should be able to come away with hopefully a win. I'll be assertive here. Change that to attacking from the off. Here we go. Dortmund away from home. And the Champions League group stage will be coming up very soon after this game. I would have thought a week away or two weeks. So that will probably be in the next video. Uh, let's make the changes there for the players to make a more direct approach to this game. There's Giggsy. Give the ball to Giggsy. And Giggs is another player as well that I'm thinking about adding to the class of night too. In the coaching role, Giggs. Oh, could have uh, won the ball there. Could be dangerous. To hear what are you doing? Not that upfield. I kind of get worried sometimes when the players knock the ball back to the keeper. So they start walking out with it. Oh, yes! Ryan Giggs! Giggsy with the opener against Dortmund. Manchester United have moved up to first in the group stage. That is what is on the line for this game. If we win, we win the group stage. Oh, nice finish, Giggs, in the right place, right time. Just knock that one in. Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent. A 40-year-old playing to such a high standard still. This professional level. So 1-0 up against Dortmund. And Dortmund are starting to look as though they are worried. They are starting to look rushed off their feet. Trying to get back into this game. Probably gone all uh, rigid as well with their passing. That's going over into the crowd. What a goal that would have been. Yeah, well, it wasn't a goal. 
And I think it was uh, Royce as well that fired it off. They are uh, dominating with possession at the moment. Going by the bottom bar. Not too happy with Hernandez. I might... I know I did say that I was probably going to have a chat with him. Why was Hernandez just standing there? Oh, Lewandowski. Almost made it 1-1. De Gea with the save. Oh, look at De Gea. Brilliant. I'm not, I'm not happy about Hernandez at the moment. It seems as though he's trying to beat, like, push the ball, like, pass the ball forwards and then run after it. Trying to beat his man. Oh, 2-0, Danny Welbeck. Was that offside? No, we got a corner. It's the ref again, blowing his whistle too early. Come on, we can beat Dortmund. We can do this. 1-0 up before half-time. 1-0 up for half-time, I should say. Oh, here they come. Wow. Oh, look at the hair again. Save hands. Do you see the way he just plucked that out of the, the air? Oh, sweet. So there we have it. 1-0 up at half-time against Dortmund. We do need to guard against complacency. Should I be... I'll be passionate about that. Keep it up, lads. Probably should have been assertive, actually. And we'll go through the uh, the individual team talks for the positions. Right. And we'll leave that at attacking. See if we can get another goal or two. I'd like one more goal. Finish up here 2-0. Got another highlight. Swing it in, Everett. William Carvalho seems to have just settled in nicely as well. He doesn't stick out like a sore thumb anymore. Where you'd be like, oh, here's the new player. Yeah, you... Oh, De Gea! Holy shit. It's Marco Royce that got the equaliser. Aubameyang there. Just pulled the ball back. See his mate in space. And with a decent shot, De Gea with a good save. It just went out to Royce, unfortunately. And he headed that one down across the line. They're back in it. We drop down to second in the group. Oh no, Carvalho. Oh, Carvalho. There's me saying that Carvalho seems to, to have settled in nicely. Which he has, to be fair, but... Such a horrible mistake. How far does the camera want to zoom out? What the hell? Oh, they find themselves in the lead. Alright, let's change things around here. I should, I should take Carvalho off for that mistake. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring on Fellaini. Um, should I bring on Mata? Or is that going to make me look as um? Yeah, let, let's bring on Mata and Fellaini. Two new Manchester United players as well. Alongside William Carvalho. But I, I can't risk Carvalho making more mistakes like that in this game. So I don't want Dortmund to run away with it. If we're going to lose, I don't want them winning by three or four goals. It's not going to happen. No way. And they almost got a third. And it was Marco Royce again. Great play. Just unfortunate about the finish for them. And that's why he's on my uh, transfer shortlist. Maybe I will bring him to the team in the summer. The January transfer window will be reopening very soon. We are in the month of December now. The cold, wintry months. Oh, they're going to get a third, aren't they? De Gea again. Good save. They've got a corner. Let's switch out. Back back to attacking. Oh, Hernandez. Oh, he's not going to chase that down, is he? It's good that he was staying up there. Looking dangerous. He is a poacher. Oh, we got a penalty. Oh, Klopp isn't going to be happy about that. Matter to take. He never misses. I thought he did then, but thankfully Mata got it, squeezed the ball into the bottom left-hand corner and has put us back on level terms. Look at the keeper, wait on fella, went the right way, so close, but yet so far as the ball goes into the back of the net. That's going to be it, unless something special can happen now for United. No, they're just going to pass it around, aren't they? Oh, no, 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 no. De Gea coming out. Whew! Good game. Good game. Really enjoyed that. Shame we couldn't have won, but 
the group stage is over. So there we have it. Leon won 2 1 against Anderlecht. As you know, we drew 2 2 against Dortmund, but we didn't win the group. But we are through to the next round of the Champions League. Let's just go back. Let's have a look at Group B. Uh, see how they got on. Copenhagen and Schalke will advance through to the knockout stages. How about Ajax's group? Barcelona and Ajax are through. They will advance as well. Celtic coming in last there. And Arsenal's group. I did say Arsenal wouldn't advance. And they will. Arsenal will get through to the next round. The knockout stages. Anyway guys, that's the end of this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all soon for the next one.